Chance stays out there. Kaplan off his skate. Here come the Pioneers if they hurry. Bros shot. Score! It's over. Denver to the championship game. Tristan Bros began his college hockey career as a Minnesota Golden Gopher. The Frozen Four in Boston that Denver won the national title. He was there as a Gopher. Later that summer, he transferred to Denver. And now, back in the state of Minnesota, he wins the game in overtime. Right between the legs of Matthew Caron and into the back of the net. And Bros sends his Bros to the championship game. And look, it's the late change by BU. Butchie, you mentioned the long change to start overtime and how you've got to be so careful coming off if you're a defenseman because you got to get back across the ice. And BU looking to enter the offensive zone after that puck bounces off Kaplan's stick. It doesn't get deep. They get caught on the change in the three on two leads to the opportunity for Tristan Bros. He drags it out. He waits for Karan to open his legs and his five hole, and he does not miss from the tops of the dots. And the DU Pioneers showing why they're so comfortable in these types of moments, in these types of games. Credit David Carl. They made the changes they need to make throughout this hockey game. They turn the tide in the second half, and they're going to play for another national championship. Just a little bit of a late change, and that forced Cade Weber to worry about that guy on the right coming down. He had to retreat. He kept retreating, retreating, and Bros got closer and closer, and then with momentum he ripped the wrist shot between the legs of Karan who played so valiantly now the officials are over by the monitor for some reason we have not started the handshake line yet so let's see what they're checking on it's the officials now not the linesman so it's not an offside situation whether it's a so whether it's offside or too many men, if they look at it fast, as that means it's probably nothing. Let's see if it's a good goal or not. Oh, now wait, now come back. Let's see if they're looking, this is, that's fine. At least, don't do the far skater on the left, but that looks fine in terms of onside. Let's see. That's fine. At the conclusion of the game, Boston University challenged for a missed major penalty. There is no missed major penalty. That sums up BU's night. <laughs> they didn't get a penalty all night. And in the end, they fall in overtime. And now the handshakes begin at center ice. And as Colby mentioned, some careers will be coming to an end for Boston University. Will Macklin Celebrini be a one and done and after the NHL draft move on to the NHL? As David Carl is all smiles. His team survived a slow start, but they slowly found their game. They have a hot goaltender in Matt Davis who kept the score one nothing. You got the feeling if it went to two nothing, it would have been very difficult to come back, but they slowly found their game. And in the end, Denver Hockey and David Carl get the win. And once again, they return to the championship game, trying for their second national championship in three years and seeking their 10th title in program history. Rough idea, cool. Sounds good. And Colby Cohen is alongside the overtime hero, Colby himself. 15 years ago tonight, Colby scored an overtime goal to win the national championship. And he's next to Tristan Bros, whose overtime goal, Colby, gets them to the national championship. Tristan, you had a big overtime goal in round one to the NCAA tournament. You do it here at the Frozen Four to send your team back to the finals. When you're sitting in the locker room, 
between the third period and overtime? Are you visualizing that you're the guy that's going to get your team the goal? Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I just think, I don't know. I, I'm kind of speechless, to be honest with you. I mean, well, look, I can I, tell. I want to be the guy to score, but I don't care if, if anybody on the team scores. It's just, it's a group effort. We, we got a really, really special team in our locker room, and we got, we got one more game. So. Well, look, I can tell this is highly emotional for you. All right, your team outplayed the first half of the game. You guys come back strong the second half. What did David Carl say to you guys between the second and the third to flip the switch for your Pioneers hockey team? Stick with it, believe in each other, keep playing the way that we started to play in the second half of that second period, and uh, just to do it for each other. Do you have a preference who wins the late game? No, it doesn't matter. All right, go enjoy. Congratulations, celebrate with your team. Thank you. So Guys, back to you. Thanks, Tristan Bros, second round pick, Pittsburgh Penguins. So this was the call that BU, let's face it, it was a Hail Mary pass that they were hoping they might get a call. They hadn't gotten one all night, so maybe they thought this would be a bit of a head contact play right here on Celebrini. Nothing, nothing really, you see Celebrini try to sell it. That was well before, but still they were hoping perhaps that would turn into a penalty it did not here it is again a different angle Z Booyam Macklin Celebrini there's a hit right there and in the end the officials after going to review and they, they had all these views that we have we've over 30 cameras here at the frozen four not called and again bros he goes between the legs of Weber and between the legs of Caron. And it's an overtime winner for Tristan Bros, the second time in the NCAA tournament.